Hey guys, it is Jen with Mother Time. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing more fall crafting. I have brand new fall crafts. I cannot wait to share with you. Plus, I'm going to kick it off making a fall arrangement with all Dollar Tree supplies that's going to cost under $13 that looks so high end. I cannot wait to share this arrangement with you. Today's video is in collaboration with Linda from Faith Chick 777 DIY by Design. I absolutely love her channel. And if you are not following her already, you are going to love her channel too. I will include a link for her channel in the description below, as well as her video that she is posting today. Her channel is filled with so much crap and DIY inspo I know you're gonna love make sure you comment and say hello to her and let her know that I sent you she is such a gem and I absolutely love her crafting inspo and I cannot wait for you guys to see her video from today too you're going to love it if you are new here to my channel welcome I love sharing home decor cooking and DIY here on my channel so if those are videos you enjoy watching make sure you click the subscribe button below so you never miss a video okay you guys I'm so excited to get crafting and make a beautiful fall arrangement with you so make sure you grab a pumpkin spice latte or a hot apple cider sit back relax and let the crafting begin so first up, I'm going to do a Dollar Tree fall arrangement. And I wanted to share this inspo with you. Sometimes when you walk into a craft store or Dollar Tree, it can be really intimidating when you see all of the florals, kind of how to put something together. And then if you're like me, sometimes you're just buying a whole, whole bunch of things to make a, an arrangement and hope for the best. So I figured I'd simplify that and share an arrangement with you. This will cost you, if you need everything, $12.50 to make. And it looks like you would buy this for $30 or $40 at like Home Goods or TJ Maxx, one of those stores. So I'm using a total of three of these foxtail, which I love. And you'll see this coming up in another craft too. So I'm using three of the foxtail and I love the color and texture. And then I have three of these bouquets, a little bit of the cotton in it, and then it also has the pine cones. Love that, so three of those. And then I'm using two of the sunflower bushes, and I love the creamy color. They're so pretty and perfect for a fall arrangement too. So I have a total of eight stems, and then I'm using one of these galvanized buckets, also from Dollar Tree too. I like the, uh, it's narrow. I really like the height of it. Um, it's super pretty. So this is also from Dollar Tree too. And then you'll also need a piece of floral foam that you can also get from Dollar Tree and then just cut it down. So all of this is gonna be put together and wait to see how pretty it is. So first up, I'm going to use this tray on my kitchen table. This tray I got for 90% off at Hobby Lobby and I really love it. So I'm gonna use that tray as my, um, to put my container on. So here is my Dollar Tree container. And then I'm going to use a piece of floral foam to just tuck it down at the bottom to stick all of my stems in. So I just cut a piece of floral foam they have it at Dollar Tree either in pieces or you can buy the block. Sometimes I like the block because then I can cut it exactly what I want and then I have, feel like I get a lot more buying the blocks, but this actually is a piece that I already had on hand. So I have a piece of floral foam in there just so everything stays in place because sometimes if you pick it up or it accidentally tips over and you don't have the stem stuck in a piece of floral foam, then everything, all of your hard work falls out so it's nice to use something to keep your uh, stems in place so next up i'm going to start by adding all of my stems and wait till you see just using these stems how pretty this arrangement comes out so i'm going to start with the foxtail and i kind of spread it out now sometimes when i'm making arrangements i will cut everything off but for this one i'm actually going to use the picks so i'm going to start sticking in a few of the foxtail and I'm really kind of pulling it apart and getting it all nice and fluffed out. I love this foxtail. I love the color of it and even the greenery on it. It's just so pretty and folly. There have been some stems at Dollar Tree this year that I've just been in love with. 
This is one of them. And I love the wispiness on it here too. So just three of these that I'm gonna stick in here. And again, we'll fluff it all out once the arrangement is totally complete, but that is a start. And just like that, I, I love it just like that. And that is just a start. I always make sure too that I have my seam in the back, not on my side, so it's kind of turned to the back. So now that it is all fluffed out, now I'm gonna add in the sunflowers. So next up, I have just two of these sunflower bushes. And again, I'm gonna take it and fluff it out and I'm gonna stick it in here. And then I, since it's already fluffed out, it's already kind of got some character to it. And again, this is the beauty of using the floral is it's not going to move. You could even take it one step further and add a little bit of hot glue before you stick it in, but then you're kind of committing a little bit more even though you could probably still move it. Um, the floral foam, works just as well. And then we're gonna stick in one more. Right in here. And again, just fluffing it out and using the wire to kind of manipulate the stems to get them to go different ways. Look at how pretty. This looks like uh, an arrangement that you would see pre-made at Home Goods, and it would definitely be more than $12 to buy. And what a pretty arrangement even to make for somebody too. I love even just these stumps. And that is why I wanted to share this idea with you because sometimes when you go to the craft store or especially Dollar Tree, you see all those stems, you're like, Okay, what combination is gonna work? So that is why I wanted to share this idea with you and share these stems with you too, to inspire you to make an arrangement just like this. And now I have three of these little bouquets that have the uh, cotton on it. Really love this one too. And this is a really good filler. It's gonna add some texture too. And again, pushing it in to my floral foam and then fluffing it out. And I'm not shy, I'm at the store and I kind of make my arrangements while I'm in the store. It was so funny when I was doing this one in uh, Dollar Tree, even some ladies were walking up to me and they're like, that is so pretty. So don't be shy to stand there, find a quiet aisle, have your cart to play with your the arrangement as you're working on it too, so you know what you need. And here is my last stem. Look at how pretty this is. I'm gonna stick this one towards the back. And I love the little pop of white from the cotton ball. That really just leads to adding a lot of dimension and texture to this arrangement. And then once you have it all in there, now you can kind of play around and fluff it out. But the beauty of kind of fluffing it out beforehand, instead of just popping them all in there to begin with, fluff them out and give them to widen at first, and then they're already one, you're one step ahead. And that just is, then you really don't need to do a lot of fluffing. It's more just kind of zhuzhing at this point. Now I'm just zhuzhing because it looks so pretty. And this looks like something you would see. I know I, I feel like a broken record, but it really does. It looks like something you, an arrangement you would see at, Home goods for a lot more. And that is just so pretty. So here it is. Easy peasy. And again, using that floral foam, if it accidentally tips over, it's not going to all spill out. There is this beautiful fall arrangement for about $12.50 with using all the supplies from Dollar Tree.
Now I want to share one other idea with you if you want to even add some more texture to it is to grab some raffia and then just kind of stick it in there too and that'll even add some more texture. Now I love it just the way it was before but I also love raffia too. So you just take a little bit and then I kind of bunch it up. Now this isn't going to stick in the floral foam so you just kind of want to play with it a little bit. So I just kind of make a little bundle and then kind of just find a place to tuck it in. But this adds even more to this beautiful arrangement. And so then where I kind of bundled it up, I cut that so it, you have the, um, so you don't see it all curled up. So just like that. Then you can always trim it too if you have to. But I love the wispiness of it. So see how that's really even adding some more. Now you can get Dollar Tree Raffia. I haven't seen it there much lately. Um, but this is a big bag of Raffia that I got at Walmart. So you could just stick that in there too, or you don't even have to do it at all. I just wanted to share this other idea with you because I felt like adding a little bit of Raffia into it. And I started, I put a couple pieces in first just to see how it looked and I really liked it. So then I added some more. It really kind of gives it even more texture and just, oh, I love it so much. So that is how it looks once you add the raffia in it. I just love this arrangement so much and I hope you do too. Next up, I'm going to create a beautiful fall door hanger. I'm going to start with this pumpkin that I picked up at Dollar Tree. I'm going to give it a quick coat of paint. I'm going to start with a coat of folk art paint in the color mushroom. And then while it is still wet, I'm going to dry brush on top folk art chalk paint in the color white and aranda. So while the first coat of paint is still wet, I am dabbing my paintbrush in the white Adirondack and then removing a lot of the paint so I have a dry brush. And then with long strokes, I'm going up and down the pumpkin to create a rustic look. And you'll see at the end, once I'm done, kind of the effect it gets by dry brushing that white paint on top. the paint is dried I'm going to take some twine and thread it through each of the holes of the pumpkin and make a chunky knot by simply wrapping the twine up and then knotting it and I'm going to do that on each side so it's got a chunky knot in the front of the pumpkin and then I will be able to hang this. Then I trim off the excess twine so I'm left with just a knot in the front. I just think this gives it a really cute look. Next, I'm using four of the foxtail stems from Dollar Tree. These are the same foxtail stems that I used in the arrangement. I love these. And I'm going to have two going in one direction and two going in the other direction diagonally. So I'm just kind of putting them in a diagonal and I'm hot gluing them to the back. And I'm taking my time with the hot glue, letting it dry before I add the next stem on. I'm even adding hot glue to the sides of the stem so they are on there really nice and secure. And this is how it looks once all of the foxtail is on and the hot glue is dry. Just like this, it's so pretty, I love it. 
Next up, I'm gonna take some raffia. The raffia I get is at Walmart for about $3 a bag, and I'm just gonna take a handful of it, and I'm going to add some hot glue to the back of the pumpkin and place the raffia on top. I want it to be really wispy looking, so I am just adding a big handful of the raffia on it and just making sure it's hot glued in place. Next, I'm giving the raffia just a little haircut, trimming it up, and then kind of just pulling apart where it got stuck together. And look how pretty this door hanger is. It is absolutely beautiful. And I love that it's about two feet long. So I love it. it's a really nice long door hanger and it's lightweight too. Now for the final touch, I'm gonna add a bow to the front of it. And this is ribbon that I got also at Dollar Tree. It's really pretty fall ribbon and I'm gonna hot glue it to the front of the pumpkin. And of course, I couldn't forget a button, so I'm hot gluing a button to the bow as well. And this is how it looks. I absolutely love it. So inexpensive to make, but looks like something you would see at a craft show. And you could hang this not only on a door, but anywhere in your home. And I also wanted to share one other thing with you. If you want to give the back a little bit of a finished edge, just grab some fabric. This is muslin and you could hot glue it to the back. Just cut it down. Also too, if you cannot find this pumpkin, you could do this with any Dollar Tree pumpkin. Look at how it looks even with this pumpkin too. Now who's ready for pumpkin pie? You guys know I love making these faux mini pies. I have shared several of them here on YouTube as well as my Instagram page. I love making these. These are so cute, not just for a tear tray, but anywhere in your kitchen. Anyways, you guys, these are so easy to make. So you're gonna grab a ramekin. Dollar Tree has these ramekins out right now in the fall section, so grab them or you can grab the ramekins that I'm using. They are from Home Goods. You can get them in a four pack. Then I'm going to add some hot glue to the bottom of the ramekin and then I'm going to take some polyfill. You can use stuffing from an old pillow or if you don't have one, you can get polyfill at the craft store. I'm going to add that to the bottom of the ramekin where I hot glued and then I'm going to take some fabric and add it to the top of the ramekin. The fabric I am using, I love this color for the pumpkin pie. It is from Hobby Lobby. So I traced out the top of my ramekin on my fabric and then cut it out. And now I'm adding hot glue around the rim of the ramekin and adding my piece of cutout fabric on top. Next, I'm gonna trim off the excess fabric. Then I'm gonna grab some muslin. I love to use coffee stained muslin. It's so easy. I just dip it in some coffee and then let it dry and it gives it a really nice coffee stained look. And I'm just gonna tear pieces to make a crust. This is just a scrap piece of muslin that I had on hand that I wanted to use up. I thought this was the perfect time to use it. So I just cut strips. Normally I would have a longer piece of muslin so I could use one strip to go around the entire pie. So use what you have or use up some scrap piece of fabric. So what I'm gonna do now is add a ribbon of hot glue around the pie and then I'm going to pleat my muslin around the pumpkin to give it that crust look. And this is how my pie looks so far. Now I'm gonna take a piece of chunky yarn that I had on hand. This is Chunky Yarn by Yarn Bee. I got it at Hobby Lobby. You could use a pom-pom, whatever you have on hand. I'm gonna add a dab of hot glue to the center of my pie and then wrap my yarn around a little bit to make a little whipped cream.
And look how cute this pumpkin pie is turning out. Now I'm gonna take some spray glue and cinnamon, both from Dollar Tree. I'm gonna spray my pie with the spray glue, sprinkle it with cinnamon, and then dust it off with a paintbrush, and then add more spray glue on top to seal in the cinnamon. And if you love this pumpkin pie, wait until you see the faux apple pie that I made. It is so cute, and I'll include a link for that video above. Now I'm gonna make a cute little bow to add to the pie. This is the same ribbon that I used for the door hanger that I got at Dollar Tree. I love this fall ribbon. So I make a cute little bow. I'm gonna hot glue that to the pie along with a button and of course a cute little tag. I'll include a link for the stamps that I use. These are clickable stamps. I get them at Michael's and I'll include a link for them in the description below. To make the tag, I am using a scrap piece of muslin. I'm stamping the word pie to it, cutting it down, and then I'm going to hot glue it to the pie along with my bow and button. And look how adorable this pumpkin pie turned out. I absolutely love it. They are so cute. These are great for a tear tray or to place on a cake stand anywhere in your kitchen or your home. And they are so fun and easy to make as well. Next up, I'm gonna make super cute pumpkin bowl fillers. I love making these no sew bowl fillers. They are so easy to make. You can grab the pattern for free on the blog. Also too, be sure to check out the no sew candy corn bowl filler. There's ghosts, there's witch hats, there's even pumpkin pie slices. They are so cute. I'll include a link for those as well in the description below. You can draw your own pumpkin or if you wanna use this pattern, again, the link for that will be in the description below. Just download it and then print it out and cut out this pumpkin pattern. The fabric I'm using is from Hobby Lobby. I'm using a friction pen and what I love about these friction pens is the ink will be removed once you add some heat so you don't have to worry about your trace lines. I'm cutting two pieces of fabric together and then once I draw out my pumpkin, I am pinning the fabric so then I can cut it out. Next, I'm gonna remove the pins because I'm going to add a jack-o'-lantern face to this. Now, if you don't add the jack-o'-lantern face, you don't have to remove the pins quite yet. And then I'm gonna use the heat from my glue gun to remove those trace lines. Next, I'm gonna add a jack-o'-lantern face to one of my pumpkins. Now you could do this using a Sharpie or even a painter's pen, but I'm gonna use this really cool transfer. And what I love about these transfers is you can wash and reuse them. So I add my transfer to my pumpkin, then I'm going to add my chalk paste and then remove my transfer, wash my transfer, I'll be able to reuse it again, and I'm gonna have a really cute jack-o'-lantern face for this. And if you love this adorable jack-o'-lantern face too, I'll include a link for where you can get it in the description below. So I add a nice thin coat of the chalk paste. I don't really clump it on, get it in there nice and good. What I love about these transfers is there's so much detail. Then I remove my transfer and look at how cute this is. Now I'm gonna go wash my transfer and then stick it back on the sheet and it is ready to use again. Once my jack-o'-lantern face is dry, now it's time to attach it back to the other pumpkin. So I'm gonna place them together add a couple of pins, and then I'm going to hot glue around the pumpkin, leaving an opening to add stuffing. Now I'm going to stuff my pumpkin. You can get stuffing at the craft store or use stuffing out of an old pillow. I like to kind of break it up and then add it into my pumpkin. You could even add some essential oil to a cotton ball and add that in as well. Once it's all nice and stuffed, I hot glue it closed.
And look how cute this is. And to finish it off, I'm going to tear a piece of homespun fabric. I get it at Hobby Lobby and I'm going to wrap it around the stem and add a button. And these are the buttons I use. I get them at Walmart. Look how cute this pumpkin is. You can make a bunch of these super quick and they're great to add anywhere in your home. They make a super cute gift too. Okay, you guys, that is all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a big thumbs up if you did and comment below what your favorite thing was from today's video. And for daily decor and DIY inspo, make sure you're following me on Instagram at Mother Time. Thank you so much for spending time with me here today and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.